Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Vance here, and welcome to a Star Citizen update video today. Now, sorry for the little bit of a delay, you probably can tell by my voice, I've not been well over the last uh, couple of weeks. I've had man flu, so it's that sort of put me out of action, a really bad sore throat, probably about four or five days that stopped me making a video, but even now I'm still not feeling that great. Anyway, moving on, lots has happened in that time. We've had the latest patch 1.3 come out, which on face value doesn't look like it. there's been that much change to the actual game itself. But looking at the uh, patch notes, there's an incredible amount of changes that have been made. Probably talking about maybe 100 to 200 changes have been made. And I think that this is just pulling everything in line and getting it ready for the big world map that I'm sure we're all looking forward to. Now some of the changes we've seen, we've seen lighting changes inside of the hangars. We've had the Bearing C7A8 Ballistic Cannon now has been added to the game. This gun is a size 4 mount and it fires 2.2 shots per second. There's been many game balancements put in place as well. There's also been a wide range of balancements made to some of the weapons as well so it looks like there's a few of them have actually been slightly nerfed and also there's been a few buffs here and there as well the cutlass has actually received some minor tweaks to the thruster and gimbals to actually improve the maneuverability so that's pretty good and also a wide range of other sort of fixes as well i'm going to show you a video here guys as well this is posted up on the uh, rsi vimeo site there's a couple of videos here actually I'm not quite sure why they didn't put these uh, on the YouTube channel because I actually thought they were pretty cool. The first one we're going to see is a thank you message or transmission from one of the leading stars in Star Citizens, and that's Mr. Aldman. So watch this first. And the last video, guys, is pretty cool as well. This is a video of Port Oslo, one of the uh, stations. And you can see they've actually been working on the uh, animations and the starting point as well. It looks really, really cool. Can't wait, guys. Uh, I suppose the last thing, guys, if you're looking to join Star Citizen, I've left a link below and get yourself a little bit of cash. What they've actually done now, they've actually removed the sort of entry level packages. So what it means now is if you actually go and sign up and purchase this ship, you actually get access to all the modules. So that's pretty cool. So I'll leave a link in the description below. And I hope you enjoy these videos, guys, because I did. They're a cracker. I'll be back on the videos once I'm feeling a little bit better. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. Greetings, fellow star citizens. I am very excited that my participation in Squadron 42 can finally be shared with you. I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but I'm on location at the moment filming. But I just want to take a moment to express my heartfelt appreciation uh, for allowing me to join you in this incredible universe that you have helped create. I had a wonderful time working on it, working with Chris and the crew, playing a great character, and I, uh, I, hope, to, uh, I hope to revisit Admiral Bishop in uh, future installments. Have a great time, enjoy the ride, and um, I hope to be with you in person next time. Until then, this is Bishop signing off. Bye, Jessica.